Kevin, obviously the most important question on everybody's mind. How did you and Dana start buying each other's shoes? Uh, good question. <laughs> right off the rip. How's everybody doing today? Good? Good. Uh, I think I bought him some rubber dunks. And then after I bought him the rubber dunks, he bought me some, uh, some SBs. I mean, uh, it's just some, you know, he likes dunks. So he bought me some, some dunks, some uh, Chicago Color Wave lows. They were really nice. So then... Uh, I think I got him something else, and he got me something else. And so uh, I can't outbuy him, but I can damn sure find some good sneakers. <laughs> nice. All right, well, listen, we know you were itching for a fight, man. It took a long time to get together, but you got one. I guess how did it feel to finally get something together after you've been, you know, calling for it for a while? Uh, it feels good. You know, I like to stay active. You know, I don't like to sit at home and, uh, as I say, warm the bitch for everybody else to come out here and do their thing. I like to stay active. I like to feel like I'm a – Somebody who's on the roster working as hard as possible. So it feels good to be here. It feels good to be uh, back at work. And damn sure it feels good not to be sitting at home on the couch. You were linked with a lot of different names, right? So I guess how <laughs> satisfied were you that this is the one that finally got put together? It doesn't really matter who it was. As long as they got me a fight and they got it soon, I was happy. Uh, whether it was D-Rod, whether it was Neil Magny, whether it was Wonder Boy, whether it was fucking three or four of the other names that they name me. I guess I was just backup fighter to a lot of people. They finally found somebody I didn't have to be backup to, so that's cool. 180 pounds, uh, d Rod was here earlier. I think he's kind of said it was kind of him that asked for it. I mean, what? Yeah, the, it's him. Does it, does it change anything for you? I mean, do you no, see, do you read all. anything into that? No, I fought at 85, fought at 70, you know? I fought at 96 before, you know? It's like, I walk around at 192 pounds, so that tells you a lot. I don't really care about a weight class. I don't really care about any of that stuff. I just want to show up, I just want to fight. And uh, should be able to beat the brakes off somebody. Do the moments mean anything different to you in terms of like you know it's at T-Mobile, it's it's potentially Nate Diaz's no. his last fight. Does any of that change? No, it doesn't. I mean, Diaz's career is Diaz's career. I can give two fucks about that. You know what I mean? And then uh, you know T-Mobile Arena, fucking wherever the Raiders play, or whether at home at the Staples Center, or we're here, or there, or the other. It's like uh, the only difference is. A Few, a few cool pictures on the wall, and uh, some of them have nicer toilets than the other. I don't really care. The cage is the same. Nice. Last thing for me, I think a lot of people are expecting this to be a pretty exciting fight. Are you expecting this to be, you know, exciting back and forth, that type of fight, or do you think this is one you can dominate? Uh, on paper, it's a great fight, and I'm glad that everybody looks, on, looks at the paper. You know what I mean? But uh, if you look at the paper closely, I feel like I fought the better people, and uh, I feel like, yeah. I feel like you guys are talking about he has good boxing, and uh, I feel like he has uh, sh shitty street boxing. So we'll find out if he has shitty street boxing or good boxing. We'll have a good night. Kevin, over here. Uh, we spoke with D-Rod earlier this week, and he said when they announced this fight that he felt this was the real main event compared to the Hamza Diaz yeah, fight. Yeah, because he's fighting me. I mean, if it was him fighting somebody else, it wouldn't be anything that anybody was worried about. But he's fighting me. So, yeah, it's the real main event. I'm fun. I'm really fun, you know what I mean? Whether I'm being held down on the ground or I'm chasing a crackhead down the street, I'm fucking fun, you know what I mean? So I just like to have a good time. You also said he was surprised they announced this fight for this card. Were you surprised that they announced it for this card specifically? I mean, they literally picked this up for this card specifically. If it wasn't for this card specifically, he wouldn't have got the fight against me. So, no, I'm not surprised at all. He called the weight class, I called the fight, so it's cool. We asked him about, you know, we asked all of your opponents, like, what, what do you do to prepare for Kevin's talking in there? Do you have to do anything different? He goes, well, I went to Juvie. I'm from L.A. Like, if you're not trash talking, you're not really fighting. So what are you expecting from him in there when you guys fight? Uh, nothing at all, honestly. It's like uh, I expect for him to go out there, not move his head that much, get rocked, and hopefully get knocked the fuck out, <laughs> you know? Kevin, do you still have an issue with Hamza? I know you guys have that thing at the hotel. I don't have an issue with anybody on the roster. If anybody has an issue with me, that's their problem. I ain't got an issue with nobody on the roster. I feel like that's changed a little bit. I feel like there were times. No, I've never had an issue. Nobody. Now, I'm going to tell you how I feel about anybody. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, dude on the left's a bitch. Dude on the right's a bitch. And dude in the middle, he's definitely a bitch. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, I don't have a problem with anybody. If you don't have an issue with him, can you tell us how you feel about him? Do you still feel like he was rude I to you? feel like he likes the fucking media. I feel like, you know, he only does this extra wannabe street shit when the media's around. Other than that, he doesn't do it. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, when you guys aren't around, he wants to do fist bumps and he wants to be your best friend. When you guys aren't around, when you guys are around, then all of a sudden he's like, ah, I'm going to rip your fucking head off. You ain't ripping shit off, dog. Let's be real. You want a paycheck just like the rest of these guys around here. How do you see that fight with him and Nate going? Nah, he should win on paper. Hey, Kevin, uh, what's that ice around your neck? Uh, it's the same ice that was around my neck last time, dog. <laughs> ain't nothing new. <laughs> Thank you. Kevin. 
I'm curious about your opinion on the performance at UFC 278, Leon Edwards versus Kamara Usman. How do you think Leon did? Uh, he won the belt. He did fucking great. You know what I mean? He uh, took down a guy that's never been taken down. He took his back. He had him in submission trouble. And then he went out there in the last round and threw a, a massive head kick that ultimately got him the belt. Now, what he did, two, three, four, was absolutely trash. But uh, he managed to get done in five, so that mean, that really means a lot. And uh, overall, Leon Edwards is a very pretty striker. And as long as things are going pretty, he's doing good. When things get ugly, he doesn't do so good. Kind of shuts it down mentally. And then what are your thoughts on Kamara Usman coming off of that KO? Um, I'm curious to see how he comes back. I love how he's um, taking it. You know, he's not being super, you know, anal about it. He's not shy. He's still out in the media. He's still out doing his thing. He's showing that he is a champion, you know. Uh, but, you know, I think he had kind of got that, that head to him where he thought he was invincible. And I think it's kind of hard to come back from that when you've been on top for so long. Uh, I Kind of like Anderson Silva when he was trying to get his belt back. I just don't really think Usman's going to get it back. You know, it's like uh, if Leon Edwards shows up and fights the whole time, like how he fought in the first and the fifth, I think he finishes Usman again. That's uh, just my personal opinion. And so, then uh, if he does get the fucking belt, I think that Chimaev will take the belt from him. I just don't think that Usman has what he used to have in him anymore. I think it's movie time. I think it's time for him to go get paid. So between the two of them, who's the tougher opponent for you? Uh, for me, if yeah. I was making fights, it probably would be Usman. But if he's getting knocked out by Leon, he's definitely getting knocked out by me, and it doesn't take a head kick. Probably just takes a right hand straight down the pipe. Awesome. So one final question. Since, uh, since uh, Nate Diaz is on the card, are we going to see any Stockton slaps in the ring? Uh? I mean, I slap people pretty much every fight, whether it's a, a up-close combat slap or a distance slap or we're just on the ground and I do a little backhand because I feel like that. I mean, I slap people pretty much every fight, and uh, it's not a Stockton slap. You know what I mean? My boy calls it an Agtown slap. Somebody else calls it this, calls it that. I'm just a smack man, and I'm smacking anything that's in my way. Thank you. No problem, brother. Smack man, how do you uh, match up with D Rod? You mentioned he's not moving his head at all. So, are you you got that edge on the boxing? Where do you see your strengths? I got the edge everywhere, boxing, grappling, everywhere. I work harder than D Rod. D Rod's been fucking dealing with hand surgery for the past year. I've been working my ass off. You know what I mean? It's like uh, he beat Kevin Lee, but where the fuck does Kevin Lee fit in, in all of this? You know? So, yeah. Hats off to him. He beat Mike Berry, too. Mike Berry beat MVP, so that's pretty cool. But uh, this ain't bare-knuckle boxing, so I'm not really worried about the guy. I mean, if we had 16-ounce gloves on, you know, big gloves, and we were boxing, uh, I would tell you for sure I'd win all 12 rounds. Uh, we don't have big gloves on. We got little gloves on. Anything can happen. Yeah, I'll probably knock them out and then end up submitting them. So shit happens. How nicer is it to not have to do that full weight cut? I know you've done work. I like the weight cut. You're cool with the 180? I like the weight cut. I like, uh, I like cutting to 170 pounds. I feel a lot more professional when I cut the weight. Uh, but it does feel good not to have to cut weight, kind of go back to the 185 days, you know, show up, show out, you know, get paid, stay healthy, and go do it again real quick, you know. And, and Wonder Boy, he always says my name, but he never responds to my damn Instagram messages. Wonder Boy, I know you see it. I got a blue check. You got a blue check. I'm in them DMs. Respond to me, baby. Hi, right, my man. Thank you, and good luck on Saturday. Appreciate that. What are you DMing Wonder Boy? What am I DMing Wonder Boy? Let me see. You know, I got to check. You know, I got a bad memory. Let me see. I ain't got no money to pull out this time, so don't be looking at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> boom, boom. Hey, how'd you, what'd you guys think of my son Buckley's fight last fight? He looked real good in the third round, huh? Yeah. He did what I told him to do from the beginning and the third. That boy got to learn to listen a little bit more. And uh, what's up with Strickland's finger? How do he hurt that? I think it's infected. I told him don't finger men's buttholes. <laughs> oh, I just sent him a little thing and I said uh, that I was down because he was like, he doesn't want to fight a, a wrestler. And we all know I can't wrestle for shit. So, yeah, I sent him a message and was like, I'm down. <laughs> how, how often do you DM him? Or is it just the one? I, I DM'd him. I think I DM'd him like four times, but I think I deleted two of the messages because I felt thirsty because he wasn't responding. So, I mean, <laughs> still two up there. You know, you know so. they get notifications when you delete messages. That's okay, but you didn't see the message. It might have been like an old post type shit that just went away. Still kind of thirsty, but it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> now, they, you really can see when they delete messages? Yeah, you'll get a notification saying user deleted message. But you don't know what user though, right? Because every once in a while I get a deleted message and I go back to it, and then the only reason why I know it was a girl because I was going to respond to her later, but I usually got a girl next to me, so I can't respond in time, you know? Yeah. 
And finally, I, you were talking about boxing a little bit earlier. What do you make of Anderson Silva about to box Jake Paul? Uh, shit. Anderson Silva's a, a fantastic fighter, and I really hope he gets the job done. But if he doesn't, I'm just throwing it out there now. Anderson Silva is a lot older than what he used to be. He's not the same person. A older Anderson Silva knocks out Jake Paul whatever round he chooses. Just just being honest. Hey, do me a favor. All you guys grab the security guards while I run. <laughs> <laughs>